time to get to know the reigning bike champion a little better. Meet 28-year-old Sam Sunderland of KTM, Great Britain's first ever winner of the Dakar. It was a massive, massive sense of pride, but also of relief. Not only had I finished the Dakar, I, I'd won. And I remember the last 60 k's. It was the last 60 k's of the finish, and it was the longest 60 kilometers I'd, I'd ever ridden in my life. I felt like I had three buses on my shoulders, you know, like, come on, come on. And, and then when I crossed the line, it was like, poof, like uh, the relief was incredible. I don't know, I was always a bit wild and getting hurt a lot. Uh, I grew up on a dairy farm. I managed to, I used to crash a lot, to be honest. Um, yeah, on my mountain bike BMX, or even when I started riding um, motocross, I'd often be pretty fast and then uh, end up falling over a lot. But yeah, I managed to figure it out a little bit. <laughs> Moved to Dubai when I was 19. And that was kind of where I got into the desert riding side of things. Go and hit big jumps in the desert and uh, free ride a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't really have much desire to ride endurance races. I didn't really know much about the Dakar. I was introduced to Peter Hansel, and I didn't, I didn't even know who he was. No idea. Um, obviously, he's a massive legend, and now I look to him like a god. At that time, I shook his hand like he was the plumber. I had no, no clue who he was, um, and I was just some young young kid that wanted to race the race his bike, you know. For me, there's any one of ten guys can win the Dakar rally. In general, everyone gets along and has a lot of respect for each other. And I like that about rally, you know, you can't become uh, arrogant or, or think you're some kind of hero because you're not.